your girl bright chairmaker welcome back world lovers it feels so good to be back i have something new for us this new year but before then this is a scrapbook youtube channel and it talks about everything about scrapbook scrapbook as a lifestyle scrapbook tournaments and scrapbook activities if this is your first time here don't forget to join the train subscribe like and share this video for those that have been sticking with me from day one thank you guys you guys are the real g's it's the szn of love and i'm here to tell you that you can find love in scrabble i have crush oh, but my own crush is doing hard to get so we knew today i'm with two scrabble love beds that became one come with me to see who we have <laughs> I've always known from Lola Dedron. Way back then, we had a Yahoo group, the Scrabble Players Association. We had a Yahoo group because it was Yahoo that was winning then. So it was an Scam email. Players. Yeah, Scam Players. It was an email group where people just send their email. This was way before I think BB was not so popular then. So we always communicated using Yahoo groups, Yahoo Mail. So I've been reading a lot of our contributions from Lola Dedron, you know, aka a day passion of. So I've been looking forward to meeting that person. So on this fateful day, I think it was I think it was 4th of December. I think I can remember the it was 4th of December 2012. Yes, doing a call a cold sports festival so at the 5000 super hall in Unilad so i was we were playing we were playing in the hall and then the chess people were playing outside so i was just chilling with my friend that plays chess and we we're going to we we're going to watch the chess match so i just i just saw her you know we have these tags we wear i just saw her tag i just saw ah, i didn't know some lola and i said ah this is it. I never shut up. It was so funny, you know. So I said, I read all. Of, I read all your contributions. I like the way you talk. Everything. I said, yes, she knows me too. Blah blah blah. And then we just exchanged did the thing. Then, then we started thinking, and we were thinking until we were thinking. <laughs> You know, my stuff, man, it's always the, you're always the guy that do all of this. But in all fairness, let me just say it was because um, they didn't try in person. You understand? We have a common interest, which, which is travel. We play travel, we both love travel hand. I mean, that was just the, that was just the, the spice that we, that we have and that we still have, you know? It was all friendship from the beginning and then we moved and moved and moved and we are here now. Chiamaka! It was you. How many states in Nigeria have do you guys travel to play Scrabble as a couple? We've been to Nigeria State, Ohio State, Ogo State, Akwaibon State, Edo State, Abuja, 
I play for Open State, and the job I currently do, I got it because of Scrabble. Uh, at the Gateway Games 2006, all members of the Open State team were offered automatic employment by the then governor of Tumba Benga government, which was was a very welcome development. So, but I that's why I play for Open State, and I don't think I can play for any other state. Representing only for your states. You know, I started playing Scrabble when I was in school, the school in Ibadan, the Ibadan. I just finished a semester exam that year, and one of my lecturers, who happens to be the school chess coach, and my own lecturer in the department, just walked up to me and asked me if I know how to play Scrabble. I told him no. So it was like, do I want to learn? I said, well, I don't know. If I see how the game is going to be, and I love it, I will wait. Otherwise, I will leave. So on that fateful evening, I followed him to the sports office in my school, and there I found you know, some players playing with words and all of that. So, like almost immediately, I clicked in. I I loved what I saw, and I started playing. And you know, the beautiful part of it is that in all my life. I have never seen someone like Coach Do before. Coach Do happens to be our chief coach on campus, and that man is just a fantastic man. You know, the moment he saw saw me and he saw the way, I mean, he saw the interest that I had. Coach just wrote out all the two-letter words for me on a sheet of paper, and he gave me just 24 hours to go and learn them. He took my contact, and it was just like, by tomorrow evening when you come here, you have to tell me the two-letter words offhand. I said, okay. So I took the paper, I went to my hostel, you know, I studied it like I was reading for Cambridge and the next day, you know, okay, in the morning, the next morning, very early in the morning, the first message I got was from my coach, you know, it was one of all these motivational speakers, so he sent me a very motivational text message that morning to start my day and I, of course I've learned the two letter words and I was not ready to drop the ball. So after lectures that day, I resumed back to the sport council, I mean sport office. And that became my routine every day. I started going to the sport office every day after class. So I went for, okay, before we went for, for Nipoga, Kochi made sure that he exposed all of us, all the players to how Scrabble is being played professionally. You know, he didn't want us to just play Scrabble on the school level we were it took us like several steps ahead and that really helped all of us i went for my first nipoga games and i cleared all the gold medals in the female category i was so happy like i was extremely happy what was a good win for me you know the popularity on campus the pride that i had in myself the golden girl and of course, my school has a way of paying back hard work. And that is, once you have a good medal in my school, in any sport, you are going to get a scholarship in school. So that was how I got my scholarship. Then we had a sports dinner. I got an award for the most good athlete, having played Scrabble for maybe for less than one year. And I went for the Nipoga Games to all the medal, all the gold medals in the female category, and of course the um, the award came with cash um, cash prize. Oh, so you know, as a student now, I was I was a big girl on campus. I mean, there's nothing like me is broke. I can't be broke. I can't be broke now. Why would I not pay Scrabble? I mean, it's giving me money now, and I'm not playing. I'm not paying school fees. I have popularity on campus, and I travel around the state in Nigeria. I mean, so it was it was a good thing for me. We started going to Ranao Club, which is where the Badostabu players have their own their own um, retreat. So we started attending Badostabu Club retreat, and by that we became members. I represented the state during the Co 22. Well, the Co 22 happens to be my first sport festival, and I gave it my best shot. Eventually, 
I didn't win anything, not even firewood. Like, okay, you know? They beat the hell out of me. Even though my losses were, were so marginal. When you lose a game with five, with four, you cry. I cried, like I cried my eyes out. Because I was, at every point in time, I was very close to winning and I was very close to, you know, winning medals. But I, I didn't win anything. So we went back home now, nothing to show for for the state. But then, all of a sudden, we got a call that, well, the state wants to put us on payroll as, you know, program that led. And it just came to me like, how? We even went for a sport festival, we didn't win anything, and now they are facing us on monthly allowance. And that was how it all happened. They gave us our offer letter, you know, we signed and everything. We saw the, the admiration and all of that. And I think they even, they even, they, they budgeted our payment. I think they paid us like three months. And ah, one more thing. I said, this thing, this thing that is called sports, there's money there. <laughs> and then I was already in my final year. I was just like, okay, ah, even before service, this guy's already on the state payroll. He gets stuff now. And that was that was just it. You know, we just collected the three month payments, and since so then I became um, a your state player. So, you are, yes. But now, to me, this thing is already personal to me. It's beyond the money. It's beyond the money. If your state could offer me a contract appointment, a contract employment, at the point that I didn't even need anything for them, and up to today. My contrast to it, I mean, it's not just the money. And of course, I need, I have my coaches and other state players to thank for this because if they don't give their own inputs, I don't think I will still be in the state. So for me, it's more of loyalty than the money. It's more of loyalty than the money. So I started playing Scrabble in your state. I've been a I've been a player of your state since I started playing Scrabble. I really don't think there's any reason for me to you know, go to any other state. It's the loyalty for me more than the money. Don't get me wrong, I like money, I love money. But as far as Scrabble mm -hmm. and playing for your state is concerned, I think I'm fine with your state. Yes, we are. <laughs> Even pray to meet him whenever we want to. Whenever we are playing, I beg, just carry your opponent and go and let me carry my own because it does not. That's when you see his most like this. There, yes, they have brought my body. They brought my body for me. You just beat me anyhow. Okay. And at every point in time like this, this man does not show any pity. Who we'll make sure he disgraces me? He will always beat me. Even when we went to Kenya, I think our first, our first, our game. first game, we were paired together. We were paired together, and <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was that that particular game was was a total chaos because he he didn't beat me, he pulled me out. He beat it me. was only three hundred and twenty six. So he he beat me. See only only three hundred and twenty. Please, is three hundred and twenty six too much? <laughs> okay, you're my grandpa. I never drop you back in the bag. I have to play with you. Play ya! You are my some timer. Aww. I can never go into overtime. Mm. Always on time. Bah. You're my scrabble bird. And I can never go to the Scrabble tournament without you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you are my word checker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, so so greedy, they mark anytime I press up. Never have I ever played a bad word. Please, this teaching will not be enough for all the sharp, I don't think. Okay, never have I ever missed a tournament. Oh. Never have I ever 
gotten late for a tournament. Oh, that was it happened <laughs> Friday. Friday, I missed two games. <laughs> I should come second. Never have I ever lied at the office to go for a tournament. Oh, oh. my head of concentration. That's our best. That one, eh? How much what she does for a degree? It's easy. That thing in now. it's easy for her. Never have I ever altered a result in tournaments. Never have I ever wrongly swapped my planter. Oh, change it blank? Yes. No, that's the end of the game for me. I know this village people. That one is just village it, it people. It is S for me. Yes, for blank, I know. Okay. I don't even think I've ever changed S. Even if I have four, four of them, I will play them one by one. Never have I ever picked more than 7,000. <laughs> Never have I ever argued with the tournament's director. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever cried after a scramble game. Yeah. Can I take on the season? <laughs> Never have I ever visited the restroom in the middle of the game. Love. Soul. Love. Evolve. Lova. Revolve. Velocity. Overlie. Olivin. Medieval. Olive. I just want to say I love you. I need it from the bottom of my heart. Oh. Who is more addicted to scrambling? Ah, the calamo Who is the social butterfly? Who attends most scrabble tournaments? Let me just carry the two things. Let me just put everything on my face. Who has the most scrabble medals? <laughs> it's so no, I missed one part. I missed one part. Who is likely to argue over a scrabble game? That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. I've never argued with you. Who ran away when somebody gave me my zero to stop the best That's not argument. That's not argument. I say I'll give her 10 zats. She just. We got to 9 zero. She said I know they play again. Oh, is that an argument? No. Who is more dramatic? <laughs> no coffee. <laughs> Mm. 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 Who is more tactical on the board? Oh. Who is the higher rated player? Mm. 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 Let's have finish on our face, though. I need more space. Who is likely to play non-playable words on the board? <laughs> With pride. <laughs> With deep of goju. Who is likely to leave their office for a scramble tournament? Ah, it's two of us. It's two of us. It's two of us. It's two of us. Ah, ah, my baby is, my baby is singing. It's a season of love. 
show love to somebody, buy somebody a board, buy somebody a dictionary, let's play Scrabble all the time. Scrabble is great. Scrabble is good. This time, Scrabblers are fun, Scrabblers are lovely. It's the season of love. Show love. We are, we are the open squares. Scrabble wins. Scrabble wins. Yes.